Hello, welcome to the demonstration on how to use VC for video conferencing with your clients. VC is spelled V-S-E-E dot -E com. It's a very helpful, very useful, easy to use, very good quality video conferencing program. Uh, I've been using VC myself for quite a long time, and I've really enjoyed using it. So VC has a free version uh, where anyone could sign up and do video conferencing for free with any of their contacts. Uh, every day, once a day, they could do a recording, they could do a screen share, they could send files using that platform. Now they have different levels um, of subscriptions to VC. And the paid version, you get a business associate agreement. So as a covered entity, you could be HIPAA compliant while using VC. They also have um, an upgrade where you get a waiting room so that someone simply goes to a web address and they, when they click on, they're waiting in your waiting room and the clinician will see them and the clinician could click on their name when they wanna start the session. VC had a really cool business associate agreement promotion, uh, which I believe ended just recently, where they would give just individual individual practitioners a business associate agreement for free, as long as they marketed, did some sort of marketing for VC, such as posted um, a comment about VC on social media. So I have a really cool thing for you. If you mention my name, Raymond Barrett, and tell them you would like the business associate agreement promotion, they will give that to you. Uh, but they'll want you to, to post something on uh, social media or post a review. Uh, so just ask them what it is that they want in regards to that. Test it out. Play with it. If you love it, give the review. And um, so let me show you a demonstration on how to use VC. After you download the free version of VC, I'll show you what it's gonna look like. So this is what it looks like after you download VC. You're gonna have this, uh, this little box here on your screen and you're gonna see all of your contacts listed here. Now, one important thing to keep in mind about this contacts function is that if your client is in session with you, this little green dot next to their name is gonna be red. If you click on your initials up at the top, you'll see what that looks like. So if you're busy, it's, it shows that you're red. If it's just clear, it, it doesn't show your status. And if it's green, it shows that you're available. So if you're working with clients, of course, I would have them hide their status so that all of their contacts aren't wondering who they've been in session with for the past hour. Um, however, let me show you how to use the program to have a video conferencing session. Uh, both the clinician and the client would download VC to their computer, so they would get this application on their computer. Then all they would do is hover over their name and click the video camera button right there and then you would both pop up in a video conferencing session. Now under tools is where you'll see where you could share an application, you could share your whole desktop, you could do group chat, you could send a file, you could record the session. It's very convenient. Um, and then of course you have settings where you could change the audio and visual settings. And then the history is good because it saves your chat history, which is important for HIPAA compliance. So that's what the free version looks like. Now I'm going to show you what the paid version looks like if you have the waiting room. All right. So this is the waiting room. Now this is on the clinician side. Um, so all the clinician does is signs into their waiting room, such as this. And then if there's a client waiting for you, or if you have an appointment for a client, they are gonna be sitting here waiting for their session. So right now it says there's no patients 
waiting at this time. And when there is, you simply click on their name and it's that easy. So what I want to do is I want to show you what it looks like on the client's end. And to do that, I will end this screen share and I'll turn on the screen share of the client. So the client's going to simply go to your web address to see your waiting room, such as this. So this is actually on the client's end now. And all they do is type in their name and the reason why they're visiting and click enter waiting room. And then when they get in, so what it's doing now is it's launching uh, the VC application as you can see, and their camera's coming up. All right, so this is the client right here in the video. And then the clinician is gonna see that the client is waiting there for them. So all they're gonna do is click on a call button on the client's name that appears on their side, launch the VC application, and now the clinician's gonna show up. All right, so there we are. And then the client simply accepts the call. And now we are in a video conferencing session. Another thing I really like about VC is you could move these screens. Uh, you simply grab it and drag it and you can move it wherever you want, which is convenient because you can move it in a position um, where it's closer to your video camera. I'm going to end the call. So that's VC. You have the free version. If you mention my name and ask for the business associate agreement promotion and promote them in some way, um, then you would get that business associate agreement or you get the paid version and get the waiting room. It's a, it, it, in my experience, it has very good quality. It's very easy to use. And your client would download the program, they would sign in, um, and that's that. So I hope you really enjoyed this demonstration and that you enjoy the others. If you like this, like our page, and till next time, thank you. Bye-bye.